Hello and welcome to an entirely new team building episode. Today we have Serenity the Superior, which I think is a lovely nickname. I just hope I've spelled it right. If not, I've at least been creative creating a new name. How about that? Yeah, I, I spelled it. No, I hope I spelled it right. But this is the first grass type on a team building episode. Am I scared? Oh yeah, because grass types have weaknesses. They have weaknesses for days. They have weaknesses to fire, ice, flying, bug, and poison. Five weaknesses. So we're going to have to make sure that we get a very, very resistance-based team in this episode. But for a contrary surf area, do you see this in ability? Do you see this contrary? I think some of you competitive players know what this means. So for a contrary surf area, I think it's entirely worth it. Because, with Contrary, Leaf Storm, when you click it, it would normally lower your special attack by two, because it's such a powerful move. But on Contrary, it doubles your special attack. So doubling your special attack with that powerful of a move, I want Giga Drain with it, so that we have a little bit of recovery. I think that we need Dragon Pulse with it, so that we can hit Dragon types, and we can hit a lot of things for neutral, such as Fire types can be hit for neutral, Rock types can be hit for neutral, ground type. Why Why am I saying rock and ground? Nope, 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 they aren't a threat. Um, poison types can be hit for neutral, bug types can be hit for neutral. It just hits a lot of things for neutral. And for a final round off move, I do know what move I want. It is a hidden power. It's a very specific hidden power. It's hidden power rock. Hear me out. Hidden Power Rock, super effectively, hits, bug, flying, fire, ice. That's four of its weaknesses that are covered with Hidden Power Rock. The only thing we have to worry about is the poison typing. So we're going to make sure that we at least get one of our defensive walls with a resistance to poison or perhaps even an immunity to poison. But because your special attack has been boosted so much, we want to make sure that we put as much investment into it as possible, whilst still having as much speed as possible to make sure we hit first. So we will give you max speed, timid nature, max special attack, and we will give you a focus sash. The reason I'm giving it a focus sash is that way we always get a leaf storm off, unless there's stealth rocks up in the field, but we will deal with that when the time comes. We will always get a leaf storm off. Which means that we can go into a Giga Drain and we can get some of our HP back, and we will see how that goes. So, with that set looking nice and ready to go, Serenity is going to look powerful in this tier. It only, it only got moved up into OU recently because of Contrary. Before it was, like, RU. So, quite a newcomer to OU. We are looking for a Pokemon that resists poisons. So we are looking for a Steel-type. A ground type. Uh, Garchomp is four times weak to ice. I do not want to pick up a four times weakness to ice. A two times weakness, maybe, but not a four times weakness. So we are looking at Gliscor. That's four times weak to ice. I do not like that. Uh, Heatran. Heatran four times resists ice. It's immune to poison. It resists bug. It's four times resists bug. It resists flying. I've forgotten I have a weakness. What am I doing? <laughs> That's flash fire for the fire. That's really good. That's a really good um, Pokemon to have with Serenity. But it's not the Pokemon I really want on the team because it's a four times ground weakness. Not what I'm after. Although that is a Pokemon to keep in mind. I'm thinking Hippowdon for a defensive wall, purely because his defensive stats are there. I mean, Heatran has a better typing, but it's more offense in my mind because it's 130 special attack. The choice is yours. I am making my team. If you want to run a Heatran, I can definitely understand that. But I am running Hippowdon, and I have nicknamed a Hippowdon before, and Hippowdon to me is Gloria. That's the only nickname. You are female, you are not shiny, you don't need to be shiny. You are holding a Citrus Berry, because I get the feeling I already know what Pokemon I want next, because I did have to re-record this episode, sadly. It's the worst thing in the world, having to re-record, but 
Don't be dumb sometimes. Videos need to be uploaded. But we are giving Gloria Slackle. We are giving Gloria Earthquake for Stab. So we have Recovery, we have Stab. We're going to give Gloria the Stealth Rocks. So it's Recovery, Stab, Utility. And what do we want to end this off? We could go with Stone Age to hit flying types that are immune to the Earthquake. We could go with Toxic to hit flying types that are immune to the Earthquake. I think we go with... I think we go with Stone Edge. Because its attack is already really good. So there's no shame in using it. I mean, base 112, it's a really good attack stat for a defensive Pokemon. So we have Recovery, we have Attacking Moves, we have Rocks. Hippowdon is looking lovely. The only issue with Hippowdon is we now have a dual weakness to Ice types. And we do not have resistance to fire types. Both of which are very, very common. So, a type that resists fire and ice would be a water type. So, we need to pick up a Pokemon that has reasonable special defense and a reasonable HP, such as Jellicent, but not Jellicent. Jellicent is part of ghost, and that would pick up a dark and a ghost weakness, which I am not looking for. We will scroll past these cat Pokemon that are added by Pokemon Showdown, because these are not in your Omega Ruby, Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire games. I will get the words out of my mouth, I promise you, I will. Just give, give me a minute, I just need time. Speaking is a difficult thing. We're going to not look in the PU tier, because these are OU Pokemon. UU, -U. um, let's have a look at some of the special defense stats. Mega Blastoise, that's quite good, but I don't know if we want that as a Mega. That also means we wouldn't get an item, so that's quite bad. Uh, Empoleon. You do, you four times resist ice, but you don't resist fire. Milotic. Milotic has good HP, good special defense, reasonable special attack. Defense can be boosted by Marvel scale. I'm going with Milotic, definitely. You're going to be a shiny female, and you are going to be called Crystal. Such a nice sounding name. So we've got Serenity and Crystal, twin snakes. Look at these two happily in love. We will give you. We could give you Marble Scale. But that requires you getting status, and status is a problem, so I don't know how I feel about that. But competitive, if someone comes in with an Intimidate and we can get our special attack doubled, that would be great. So I think we'll go competitive for the off chance that that happens. We will give you leftovers for recovery, as we gave Gloria the Citrus Berry. Now, what moves do we give you? You get Recover. So both of our walls have Recovery, which is great. Absolutely amazing. We will give you Ice Beam for coverage. We will give you Scald for Stab and a Burn Chance, which is good for your defense if we burn them. Then we will give you Toxic. We could give you Magic Coat and we could play around. No, stop, stop that. We're not playing around with Magic Coat, that's too situational. We'll give you Toxic for anything, any other water types basically, such as Vaporeon or another Milotic or Suicune or. If any of those come in, Rotom Wash even. Don't stay in a Rotom Wash with Milotic. Keep that in your mind. Um, but yeah, we will make sure that we have Toxic ready for that. We will make you as specially defensive as possible, making you a calm nature. Yep, 383 special attack, 394 HP, you are going to be taking special hits for days. That looks good, Crystal. You are looking fine. And now, I feel like these three cover each other's weaknesses quite well. We don't have a flying resistance, so perhaps picking up a flying resistance would be nice. Maybe, maybe a bug resistance, but at the end of the day, as long as we can get something else that resists grass, because they're both weak to grass, I'm not particularly bothered. So, something that resists flying, grass, maybe bug, I'm thinking steel type. I'm still keeping Heatran in the back of my mind, because <laughs> it does look like it would fit well. Mega Metagross. Magnezone. Do we need a physical or a special attacker right now? We have two special attackers, and we have a slow physical attacker that's a defensive wall. We need a strong, fast physical attacker. Mega Metagross, you are joining the pie right now. You are having your clear body. 
plus you're pre-mega ability, so your stats are not lowered. You're being shiny as well. Everything's being shiny today. Steven had a shiny Mega Metagross in the anime, and it looked fine. We can give you Bullet Punch for some priority on the team. That sounds good to me. We'll give you Meteor Mash. We'll give you Zen Headbutt. We will give you Earthquake, because Earthquake hits the Steel types, which are resisted by Steel and Psychic. So both of these have one... I think there's only one thing that isn't hit for neutral with both of these moves, and I think it is Steel types, so Earthquake works very well. It will give you Max Speed, Jolly Nature, Max Attack, nice recommended set. These are normally quite on point when you choose your moves, so these, these can be clicked. Pokemon Showdown is a magical site, which has all of these recommended sets, recommended move sets, and Smogon and stuff like that. It's beautiful. But we are looking for. I wouldn't mind some Switch initiative. We don't have any major like weaknesses that I'm seeing throughout the team. We have two weaknesses to Grass, not the end of the world. Two weaknesses to Ice. Two resistances to ice, not the end of the world. In fact, two resistances to grass as well. So I feel like we can pick up something with Switch Initiative. Raikou. Raikou gives Volt Switch, but mmm, ground weakness. We did just pick up a ground weakness, and we don't really have any resistances other than Serenity, who doesn't like to take massive amounts of damage, because it isn't defensive. So. I think we need a levitating electric type with Volt Switch. I can think of two, and the one I'm using has multiple forms. We just have to choose what form we want, basically. It's not going to be Rotom Fan with that uh, flying levitate, you know, great, great thing there. Oh, that's, that's next level. Um, I think Rotom Heat would be a good addition to the team. It resists the grass, that's another grass weakness. It resists flying. It resists ice. It's immune to its four times weakness. Yeah, we're, go we're, we're doing this. We're making you a choice scarfer. We're gonna give you Volt Switch. Um, we will give you Overheat, because that is your main stab move. As you're a little oven. Um, we will give you Thunderbolt in case we need to hit a tiny bit harder than Volt Switch. Or we need to stay in. And we will give you Trick in case you want to trick a Choice Scarf onto someone else that is healing up. The recommended set here is good. Uh, we will name you Hot Point. You are Hot Point the Rotom Heat. Now, do we need you to be timid? Or can we get away with you being modest and Choice Scarf? Um. What, do you, what does your speed drop to? 271, so that will go to 406. Mega Aerodactyl is the fastest thing you are likely to see. A base 150, unless you are in Ubers. So at max speed, Mega Aerodactyl goes to, not that I'm ever staying in on a Mega Aerodactyl, but you know, 438. So when you're timid, you go to 400. 447 when you're timid, Choice Scarf. Choice Scarf adds 50%. So you will outspeed a Mega Aerodactyl, so I think we should keep you timid, just in case the rare chance that happens. I don't know why I'm getting rid of the nickname and not the Pokemon. So, Hot Point is definitely joining us. We have a very, very nice looking team. All we need is something to round it out. What do we need? We have three special attackers, two physical, so I'd like it to be physical, because I like to keep that balanced. I don't have any Fighting Stab, and I do like Fighting Stab. That is my... F fighting and Steel are my favourite types. We already have a Steel type. I know I'm putting personal preference in this team, but I feel like we could run a Conkelda. We could have Priority Mac Punch, so that's a second set of Priority. It's bulky. It's got amazing attack stat. I've just convinced myself. We're going to have an Assault Vest. I can never spell this. Ass yes, there we go. Assault Vest. And we will give you some Drain Punch for recovery. 
Imagine. <laughs> hang on, hang on, I need to go back a second. Draining Kiss and Kelda? That needs to be a thing, Game Freak. Why is that not a thing? I want to run my choice specs Draining Kiss and Kelda. <sighs> Drain Punch is definitely me. <laughs> what am I doing? Uh, Mark Punch is a great priority move. Uh, we don't have a knockoff user yet. A knockoff could be really, really beneficial to the team. And now, I feel like we need to have a choice made. Because we can run Ice Punch for Dragon and Ground types and general coverage. We can run Poison Jab for Fairy types and Grass types and anything else Poison Hits that I'm unaware of. Or we can give you Stone Edge for Flying types. To be honest, Flying types are dealt with. We have Hidden Power Rock. We have Stone Edge, we have Ice Beam, we have a Resistance, a Resistance, and a Super Effective Electro type. Flying types are out of the question. We do not need to run Stone Edge. So it's between Ice Punch and Poison Jab. Am I worried about fairies? I have no weaknesses to fairies other than this, and I have Steven who resists and can hit for a super effective, and I have Hot Point who resists. I'm not particularly worried about fairies. So therefore, I feel like Ice Punch for coverage is a good thing to go with. And because I'm running free punch moves, I feel like Iron Fist is probably a smarter thing to run than Guts. That may backfire if I get burnt, but at the moment, that's what we're running with. We are making you... Do we make you more specially defensive as this is being boosted? Because if we rock out like this, then this gets boosted to over 300 special defense, but our HP is slightly lower. To be honest, I feel like that's going to be more beneficial. Because that will make you a lot more specially bulky, and we have quite a lot of physical bulk between Steven and Gloria. We have Crystal, who's specially defensive, and you can be partially specially defensive. This looks good, and we will name you Fury. Because quite honestly, Kinkelda is an angry Pokemon, and if you anger a Kinkelda, you are going to be crushed between two rock pillars. Two concrete rock pillars. Do you like the sound of that? No! No one wants to be crushed between two rock pillars. You would be killed. So, Fury is, is here. I don't really mind what your gender is. This is looking like a powerful team. We can even get like a benefit from the sand up with Mega Metagross, because Mega Metagross does not take damage from the sand. We could give you Sand Force, rather than summon the sand. Nah, we'll, we'll keep the sand. We'll keep the sand. So, this looks like a good team. I will quickly validate to make sure everything is fine, just in case I've made a mistake and accidentally put Ultimate Hyper Mega Awesome Beam on Metagross. You know, that, that could happen. But, this is looking like a good team, I don't see any problems, the battles for this team will be up tomorrow at roughly 5pm in the UK, I don't know what it is in the US, I need to find out the US time zones, I know that you are behind by several hours, so it will probably be up at like 12 in the US, depending on where you are. See look, I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying here. So, with that said, without further ado, bye!